what you've been waiting for the green flag and there it is what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of cosmetics race recap let's get right into the race at Watkins Glen the first race after a two-week break for the Olympics Watkins Glen certainly didn't disappoint in the 22nd race of the season some interesting storylines before the start of the race as it was told that Chase Elliott had to start in the back due to inspection issues tough break for him the front row to start today's race saw two teammates battling it out in Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski getting a great start with his teammate Joey Logano falling in behind as the field was going three and four wide to gain that much valuable track position as the battle for the lead continued to heat up. With the competition caution happening at lap 10, we saw Brad Keselowski racing his teammate very hard to try and keep that lead, seeming to overshoot the corners having a lot of brake problems. As right before the competition caution flag waved, he spun out. Fortunate for him, he only lost three positions until that competition caution came out. We saw some cars coming down to put four fresh tires on, make some adjustments. Others deciding to stay out, and some even putting on two tires. We knew that the restart was certainly going to be intense. Joey Logano getting a great restart as there's bumping and banging going on throughout the field with seven laps to go before the end of the stage. With Kyle Larson close behind trying to chase Joey Logano down for that stage one victory. Fortunately for Joey Logano, he was able to hold off Kyle Larson and get his fourth stage win of the season, wrapping up stage one rather handily. The game of the day was strategy, 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 and that is exactly what we saw with some cars deciding to come down pit road before the stage break to try and jump the leaders and gain that much valuable track position. Heading right to the restart in stage two, we saw Martin Truex and Ricky Stenhouse leading the field to green. With everybody jockeying for position, we had to know a caution was going to come out soon, and that is exactly what happened as shortly after the restart, we saw a caution come out for Ryan Blaney and the 51 car of James Davidson on lap 25. With 10 laps left to go in stage two after some great side-by-side -side racing throughout the field, Martin Truex continued to lead over Christopher Bell by just about two seconds. Christopher Bell making his way all the way up to second place after starting in the back with Chase Elliott. Speaking about Chase Elliott, some more rough luck for him as he had to pit before the stage 2 break after flat spotting his tires. Martin Truex being able to hold off Christopher Bell for that stage 2 victory, his 5th of the season. Jumping right to the midpoint in stage 3, Martin Truex continued to lead but the hard charging Christopher Bell was right behind him with Kyle Larson just lurking waiting for a mistake in third. After great battling between all three drivers, we saw Kyle Larson trying to make the pass on Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell trying to close the door, making contact with Kyle Larson, spinning himself out. Rough break for Christopher Bell after battling his way all the way through the field after starting in the back. Final green flag pit stop started on lap 56 with a bunch of chaos and craziness going on throughout the field, cars spinning out, the two teammates, Joey Logano and Brad Kieslowski, hitting each other, pretty much ending their race for the win. With the two leaders, Martin Truex and Kyle Larson, coming down pit road to make their final green flag pit stops one lap later on lap 57. Kyle Larson leapfrogging Martin Truex on pit road after a great pit stop by his crew, which in essence would give him the lead after green flag pit stops cycled through. After pit stop cycled through, Kyle Larson led Martin Truex by just about a second. With about 17 laps left to go in the race, Kyle Larson was still leading Martin Truex. But all of a sudden, here comes his teammate, Chase Elliott, burning some very fast lap times on the track as he was soon going to pass Martin Truex. Chase Elliott eventually making the pass on Martin Truex as he was running about a second faster than anybody else on the track at the time. I knew Kyle Larson had to be sweating it. Unfortunately for Chase Elliott, he could not make up enough ground on his teammate after trying very hard, I gotta give him credit, as Kyle Larson, of course, the hot guy that he is, won his fifth race of the season and continued Team Hendrick's dominance. Well guys, that was it for a very entertaining race at Watkins Glen. Let me know what you enjoyed most about the race. Always like, comment, subscribe, push that notification bell. We are on the road to 300 subscribers, so everyone counts, and we will see you Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace out.